loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing them. Talizora is guilty. If Talizora is the... My father dead? Or trapped on the Alarai? My name stripped? How could you not tell me this, Captain? I'm sorry, Tali. I was under orders from Admiral Ran herself. I couldn't say anything. She wanted to get you onto the Alarai. She said that the Admiralty Board needed to see your reactions. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Who decides where the migrant fleet is going? That's a more complex question than you might think. The Conclave votes on where we're going, but the Admiralty works out how we get there safely. Avoiding areas of piracy, scheduling resupply, that sort of thing. Seems like you're cut out of the loop. Raya has a representative in the Conclave, like every other ship. But me, personally? I don't get a say in anything that happens beyond my ship's hull. If my crew doesn't like the way things are going, we're free to leave the fleet at any time. Of course, since the Raya produces about a third of the fleet's food, they try to keep us happy. Why is the fleet here? A binary blue giant system isn't the most hospitable place in the galaxy. Not if you're looking for a planet to land on. We've been doing a lot of deep-range travel. The bulk of the fleet is here to charge up using photovoltaic solar cells. We're running an ice mining operation at the Red Dwarf six light years off. They haul it here, and we melt it for water, or crack it into deuterium, hydrogen, and oxygen. Why did you post guards outside our ship? Aside from the fact that your crew is Cerberus? Technically, it's under quarantine. Any accidental intership contact could sicken or kill our crew. We'll talk to you later, Captain. Even during the hearing, Talizor's first thought. The human can work it out. I'll admit that much. Anyone can retake the Alarai, Talizora can. Shepard spoke well to the Emperors. Even during the hearing, Talizora's first thought is to... Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Her Admiral Rand's orders. The shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Ast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of death, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, all right. I mean that they're afraid the Geth are building, or repairing more of themselves, from materials on the Alarai. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those Geth, Talizora. Keep us alive.
is one of the storage units I sent to Father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. Come in handy.
Or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me. Hey, hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Han Gerl and Daro Zen see the data. They must. Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we are ending this.
console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I... I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. We're not gonna decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Tali Zora Vas Normandy saved the Alarai. I hope this proves her loyalty to the Quarian people. Her loyalty was never in doubt, only her judgment. Perhaps Tali Zora can offer something to encourage more trust in her judgment. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth at the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. Han Garrel wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. 
This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zoravas Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Tally Zora, Vos Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities. Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not sure. Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I don't want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, 
Fighting the Collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes, but never uncomfortable. I'll let you get back to work. Right, because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Doesn't matter who you are. You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the Collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. No messages for you, Commander. <laughs> 